Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be directed towards something that one of the leaders uh, of the Sakari, uh, Deacon Haka, all right, as you can see on the screen right here, uh, as of lately, he's been making a couple of, well, he's been making a couple of questionable decisions lately. You know, he showed up to his camp to teach with a bulletproof vest on, um, <laughs> whatever, for what, whatever, whatever you think is going to happen. All right. I guess, you know, if you think somebody going to come back shooting, blah, 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 whatever, I don't know. Um, you know. You know, so he was in the, you know, he was in the uh, Israelite community uh, for that, you know, in the Israelite community news for that. Um, you know, the man shows up with a bulletproof vest. I guess he thinks that's going to save his life. I guess, you know, the scriptures tell you that the Lord is your shield. And then, and, and, you know, what I'm saying, and I guess, you know, Jake just want to put on the show for the for the public. He want to take a photo with a bulletproof vest on that camp. I guess whatever he's trying to prove, I don't know. And then now, this man says something goofy, you know, saying that you know the book of uh, Hebrews is not really the inspiration of God, and basically saying that you know some things in Hebrews you can't prove or whatever, and that uh, we don't know who wrote the book of Hebrews. Um, you know, not the Hebrews, the book of Hebrews is not really inspired by God. You know, that there's some things in the Bible that are inspired by God and things that are not. So now he's spreading confusion. And I'm going to let him speak and then I'm going to get some scriptures. All right, because Jake is just, you know, spewing out this, this, this vomit to the people. And it's just, it's just, it's just... It's unnecessary, but I'm going to let him speak, and then I'm going to get the scriptures. The Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is contained in the Bible. I'll let him say it again. Is not the, word, the Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is contained in the Bible. So now, all of a sudden, the Bible itself... It's not the word of God, but uh, the word of God is in the Bible. So he's basically saying that some things in the Bible are right and some things are not inspired by God. <sighs> Man, Jake is just, uh, I don't know, bro. Jake is just all over the place, man. Like, like, how do you, like, how? Uh, all right, bro. So now, all of a sudden, the book of Hebrews is not inspired by the Lord. And then they backtracked and said that it is. But, you know, we don't, you know, completely embrace it. You know what I mean? Like, it's, listen, man, we're going to get these scriptures. This is for 2 Timothy 3 and 16. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, for the instruction in righteousness. All scripture, man. Not some, not a little, but all scripture. The, the books that are contained in the Bible are perfect. All right. Even the ones that were taken out, which are in the Apographer, which were a part of the original Bible. Perfect. Okay. So all scripture is given by inspiration of God. All right. Now you do have books out there like the book of Enoch and, and the book of Jasher. 
those didn't make it because they don't add up with the prophecies and they don't link up correctly with the scriptures. They've been studied, all right? They don't link up. But the books that are that are part of the Bible link up perfectly, all right? It's that simple. It's that easy. This is Isaiah 8 and 20. It says, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So if you... Don't speak according to this word. There's no light in you. To the law, to the testimony. The testimony of Yahweh Shai and the law. The old and new. Everything. All right. Both testaments. The whole book. All right. Old and new covenant. Old and new uh, testimony. It's all inspired by the Lord. All right. Everything. All right. Now. Jake be wondering why we don't have unity camps, why we don't all come together like Jake. See, Jake that are that are that are the ones that are just learning and they don't really prophesy. You know what I mean? They don't hit the streets. They don't do the lessons. They did. They just they spectate. They learn from, you know, say their computer chair or wherever. They just want to serve the Lord. They just want to, you know, they're not meant to be prophets. You know what I mean? Or soldiers for the Lord. But, you know, saying they're servants in some 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 ways. There's many members of the Bible. Uh, of the body slakia but they'll say things like why don't y'all just come together all israel like jake want the kingdom now we'll be all together in the kingdom but now it's not gonna gonna happen because there's too many doctrines too many different philosophies too many things like this that come up all right so we can't all come together because we're all supposed to be on one accord. You can only be on. You can only strive with those that are on the same accord as you, that are like-minded like you, that follow the scriptures, how they're supposed to be followed. All right. This is Ephesians four and four. It says there is one body, one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all. And in you all. So, some people will say that there's two lords. Some people say that the Trinity is, uh, is doctrine and is it is correct that there are two gods and you know and some camps say that that the name of the Lord doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Some people say, I don't know, I can't even think of all the. Oh, some people say that the so-called Latinos are not. Um, Israelites, you know, what I mean, there's so many different philosophies in different camps that believe different things. So you can't all come together because there's only one body. Now, even though we're all Israelites, we're not going to think the same, though. We're not. You know what I'm saying? So we can't all come together right now. But there is one body. All right. But you got to be on one accord. So that's why we can't have those unity camps going together and coming together and all that. Let's we'll be in the kingdom forever but right now it's time to work so we can't link up with these different camps because they have all these crazy different philosophies now a brother in great millstone come out and say that you know the the word of god is in the bible but the bible is not the word of god that, that's what are you serious like you can't strive with a man like that can two come together except they believe as a matter of fact let's grab it I think I, I think I butchered that. It's in Amos. Where's Amos? Amos three, I think in six. Um, yeah, Amos three and three. It says, "Can two walk together except they agree?" So, you listen. You gotta agree to walk together. All right, to be together. And we're not all gonna come together, right now. So with that. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.